Today's mashup is going to show you how to use the AWE app, a .com interactive website, which has now had a huge great update where you can actually insert images into the interactive whiteboard, as well as um, Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you how you can combine these two for students to be able to demonstrate their understanding and do um, a check for learning, a check for understanding, whatever you might call it. And then I'm also using um, the Google Classroom as a way to uh, get the image to the students and then have the students turn it back in. This is a touchscreen uh, computer compatible. I am on the Lenovo ThinkPad right now, so I'm going to use my finger uh, to walk through this. You can use a regular laptop if you would like. Um, the students would just have to use a mouse to be able to draw. I did try this on the browser of an iPad and I couldn't get the image quite to come in. It just kept on spinning. So I think that there needs to be some sort of up Update, um, on the website, but for other um, reasons, you can just use laptops. So the first thing is right here, I am in uh, right now as a teacher. This is my demo class. And then right here is the assignment that I want the students to do. It's assignment number 11. So what I'm going to do is um, actually open up as a student. I have one student in my demo class. And so now you can see I'm in as a student. It now says classmates right here instead of uh, students and then you can see my teacher's picture which is right there which is actually me so here as an assignment I'm a student and I have um, you can see right here it is telling me five different things that I need to do the number one um, is download the attached image so as a student I'm looking down I can see this is the image so I'm going to follow the directions and do step one so I can stay in order. It's opening up in Drive and then if I click the down arrow it is going to download it for me and you can see that it is now downloaded here. I'm going to come back to my classroom. Number two is upload image to the AWE app website. Well my teacher has linked the AWE app website. So here it comes up. Um, I know as a student, I'm going to click start drawing. And then if I click on the pencil right here, if I come over here to the image, then I click on it, it's going to open up and I can choose. This is the image that I just downloaded. Click open. Here it is. I'm going to resize it. I'm also going to move it off to the side a little bit. And then when I have it placed exactly where I'd want it, I'm going to click on the black check mark. Now the image is on the interactive whiteboard. So if I come back to my assignment, my step three is to plot and label three points on the graph paper. So I'm going to take my uh, finger and I want these to be purple and I'm going to use the biggest circle right now and I'm just going to plot three points. There I go. And it is also telling me in step three that I need to label them. So here I'm going to do uh, resize this to smaller. This is A, this is B, this is C. Then I'm going to come over here to A, B, and C because I have to give the points. And so I know A is a negative three, negative one, B looks like it's 2, 1, and C looks like it is 4, 4. So now that I have finished that step, number 4 is telling me to save work to desktop. So I'm going to come back to the All app. Now, if I click on this very bottom icon, which looks like it's three people, if I click on it, I now have the option to download the image. So I'm going to click download image. I'm going to take this real quick and bring this off to the side. Sorry, I like to use, well, I just uh, finicky right now. I like to use this and then just drag it onto my desktop. Uh, from here, I'm going to rename it. Um, my name as a student is um, Edu, and I know this is assignment 11 uh, quadrants. So now that I have the assignment, I'm going to come back to uh, my class and I can see that number five is turn in work by uploading it to this assignment. So let me do that. I'm going to click on the name of the assignment and now I have the ability to add. I'm going to do upload file. I'm going to select files from the computer. I'm going to come over to my desktop and I need to choose oops, my file and click open. 
and then upload. It's uploading it now. Now I can see that it's uploaded and the step said to turn it in. It's not turned in until I click the turn in button. So I'm going to click turn in and yes, I want to submit this work. This is mine turning it in as a student. So now if I come back as a teacher, I can see that one student has turned in the work. So I am now in as a student. I'm going to click that. I can see Educafe is there. I'm going to click on Educafe and now I can open up the uh, drawing to be able to see it. And then I just resized it. So now as a teacher, I can assess whether my student Edu knows um, how to plot and label uh, on a quadrant. So that is the mashup. I hope you learned something. I know there's plenty of other uh, ways that we could use this interactive uh, whiteboard by putting in pictures, but this is just one that I wanted to showcase. Thank you. Have a great day.